Simply, photobiomodulation is a way of taking light, and the body can utilize that light to make a, a difference uh, in the body. So we already know about this. Uh, people are, are very uh, knowledgeable about vitamin D, that you can use sunlight, and it's actually a, a very narrow band UVB to create vitamin D synthesis in the body. And how that works, it's uh, actually in vitamin D, it converts a specific cholesterol in the body into vitamin D, and it works quite well. So in photobiomodulation, it's a very similar thing. So the, the light is coming in, it's a red or near uh, infrared light that comes into the mitochondria of the cell and what it does, it, it comes into an enzyme that's called cytochrome oxidase C, and it converts that into ATP or energy. So this is the currency of the cell, is the, the energy or the ATP. So it's kind of like a fountain of youth turning light into energy, because as we age, uh, the problems that we come up with is that our, our cells are not as uh, vibrant. They don't last as long. They don't have the energy. So by giving this injection of more ATP through this, uh, this photochemical reaction, it is like a fountain of youth. So that's why there's so much buzz on it, and it's been showing great results. And we are actually coming out with a tower uh, in the next month, we have our prototype, and it's about a little less than three feet, and we'll have very high intensity red LEDs and near infrared uh, intense LEDs that can either be used as a standalone or mounted on the door of our uh, uh, recent uh, generation saunas. And uh, I think it's going to be very exciting because it's going to be a near infrared where in our heaters we have near infrared but it's a heat source and full spectrum this will be a very specific for photobiomodulation and, and other healing properties of uh, near infrared and, and red light so we're we're quite excited the other thing that happens uh, in this uh, red light and uh, near infrared is you get a, a release of more nitric oxide into the body so that's another exciting part about it because Think about nitric oxide is utilized by the 50 trillion cells we have uh, in communication. So things like uh, blood flow or insulin secretion, peristalsis, other things, uh, neural development are all dependent upon this communication and freeing up nitric oxide will aid in that communication. So it's very exciting. We're looking forward to uh, moving, moving forward and uh, I think it will help a lot of people to heal and ultimately that's what we want to do.